Hey guys, Crewman here. As you guys know, Warthog has been going nuclear over the past few days. So much so that I actually made a video seeing if my BC250s were profitable. And I found out about 36 hours ago, they were more profitable than a 12 card RTX 3070 rig, which is pretty impressive. So I made a video on it and a few other people made a video on it too. And the Warthog hash rate as when anything becomes profitable went nuts. It went from about nine, about just under a Terra hash to about 2.5 Terra hash. So 2.5 X hash rate in three days. So what did that do to my BC 250s? Well, if you watched my video, you realize I made about 57 cents or 47 cents a rig for a little bit there. Fast forward three days later, and here are the updated profitability numbers. So we went from making 50 cents to losing 90 cents. So the BC 250s are getting turned off today, which is a bummer because I enjoyed mining on them. But when you're using about 2000 watts to lose a dollar a day, even if you believe in the price of wart going up, it doesn't seem worth it in my eyes, especially with my high power rate. So it got me thinking, I've got all of these GPUs sitting, a lot of AMD ones, and I don't really have anything to use them on right now. So why don't I see if I can make some of these profitable on Warthog? I mean, if the BC250s were profitable, I'm pretty sure other AMD GPUs are profitable. In this video, we're gonna take a CPU mining rig, probably add an AMD GPU on it, and see if we can make it profitable on Warthog after a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Hero Miners. Hero Miners just launched a Warthog pool, and when I heard that, I was thrilled, because Hero Miners is basically one of very select few mining pools that I would use for GPU mining. I trust them, they have a great interface, and you know they're reliable. So when I found out they were doing, they were launching a Warthog pool, it was really, really easy to partner with them for this video, because frankly, I wouldn't be mining Warthog right now if it wasn't on Hero Miners. Their pool is super easy to set up, and I'll go over that later in this video. So thank you again to Hero Miners, and if you're gonna mine on Warthog, mine on Hero Miners, a pool you can trust, and one of the pools that I've been using since the ETH merge. But thanks again to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video. All right, so we're in my shed. You can see my CPU mining farm. I've got about eight or nine AM4 CPUs, 5900Xs or 3900Xs basically. And you can see I've got one 7900X. So I've got 10 total CPUs in the shed. Since the BC250s were profitable on Warthog, it kind of got me thinking, Maybe I should pull one or two of my AM4 CPUs and do some Warthog testing, like I already talked about earlier in this video. Well, I have one AM4 CPU that is prime for testing. It's basically on the other side. I've got a 3900X that I resoldered 41 pins on. It does not mine the best on Monero because of this problem right here. As you can see, it only has one memory stick because it won't post with dual channel memory. When I resoldered the 41 pins, I guess I botched one of the pins that had the dual channel part. It does these it does fine on Raptorium and terrible on basically everything else. But I mean it's already paid for itself. So anyway, it is the perfect GP or is a perfect 3900X to put on my first Warthog, Warthog rig. We're going to take this out of the shed and we're going to pull it inside and we're going to rebuild it on a Warthog rig. So I got to figure out which GPU I want to add to it. You've seen the CPU that I'm going to use, the 3900X. Now, what do I want to pair it with? So these are the GPUs that I currently aren't, am not using. These are all ones that I'm testing. You know, I've got everything from some 2000 series to all the 3000 to all the am4 and am5 to some polaris to some 10 series some 9 series and lower obviously these are out i don't think i'll use the 2000 series it basically comes down to do i want to use am uh, rdna3 or the 30 series i was thinking about the 3090 or the 3080 um somebody actually told me though that the 6800 and the 6900 and the 6800XT are actually some of the best because Warthog wants GPUs with a lot of VRAM and these things have VRAM in spades. And I have a spare 6800XT that I was about to sell. So we're going to pull that out and we're going to use that one and see how it goes. So 
let's let me go get that and I'm gonna go get it all and put it on the bench and show you what it looks like before I build it so here's what we've got we've got our CPU binding rig on the old frame that I'm gonna be taking off of this frame we've got the new frame you guys have seen this in a video this is from 3d print master this set right here this is one of my last ones I actually need to get some more uh, take a look I'll have a link down below for these this is a better one to use for wart than this this was actually designed basically for warthog like rigs and then we've got the gpu that i've decided on as you guys have already seen the 6800 xt i'll be using the midnight black edition for now uh, i had a spare that i wasn't using so we're just going to put this one on and then i've got the pcie cables i didn't have any on here because i didn't need any um and that's it so we're going to go ahead and do a quick video i'm going to build this on camera I'll basically like time lapse it so you can see everything. So we're going to convert this and this right now. So let's get to it. Here it is all finished. We're gonna put it in the test bench area. We're gonna hook it up there and then we're gonna look at the total power consumption and we're gonna get this thing set up at Hive, run the numbers, and uh, we're just gonna see how it does overall. I'm pretty excited to see how this thing cooks, if we're being quite honest. Uh, I did have to put this bracket because I unfortunately cannot lay this flat due to the fans being right above it. I kind of, I think we're going to, or he's going to adjust it a little bit. So that's possible if you want to lay this flat, but honestly, this bracket is fine and I don't mind using it. So we're, for all intents and purposes, we're going to use this for now and we're going to get this thing in hive and we're going to go. All right. So here's a quick cliff notes version on how to set this up. When you create a new flight sheet. You want wart, you probably just want to mine wart for now. Then you want to set up a wallet. Uh, I have my wart wallet, but I'll show you why that doesn't matter when you get to the uh, setup miner config. The pool you want to put configure miner. Make sure you have BZ miner highlighted. You don't need to use a custom miner and you don't need to have beta. You can just use the latest stable kernel for this. And then you want to click setup miner config. And then it looks like something like this. You want to make sure. The hash algorithm Warthog selected for the wallet template. I think that's where you should put your address. For worker, you just put your own worker. For pool URL, you want to get the proper stratum, which is closest to you. For me, it's US.2 on Hero Miners, and I'll show you how you get that in a second. And then for the extra config parameters, you want to look up how many CPU threads you should use. The, I'll put a link to the Warthog Discord. They've got a lot of great information. I found out that 22 threads is the recommended for the 3900X. And then because I'm using an AMD GPU and I didn't want to get a CUDA error, I put AMD only true. You don't have to use that if you're using NVIDIA. Uh, and I don't even know if you need to use it. This is just me like dotting my I's and crossing my T's. And when you go to Hero Miner's site, you want to click on the Warthog pool, or you could just go to warthog.herominers.com. The website you can see it up on the top and you want to just find the one that works best for you like i said i'm north america us east copied it you just want to copy it and then you paste it into your flight sheet like so and that's how you get the flight sheet set up it takes about two seconds which is very very convenient all right so let me show you how it's doing and how we figure out the profitability on it all right you could see it's been running for almost 24 hours now i wanted to make sure everything worked well before i made the video obviously as far as my AMD 3900X rig or CPU, I have it undervolted the normal way you basically would undervolt any uh, CPU for crypto mining. And you could see the, the 6800 XT. I have that at 1800 core, seven, uh, 750 core voltage, and one memory. I guess this is basically a core algorithm that needs, to, that needs VRAM. So... 
That's how I overclocked it. And I did find the overclock settings on the Warthog Discord. Again, it's great uh, reference for people, and I will share that down below. So let me show you how much this thing uses power at the wall because it's kind of hard to get. Otherwise, because there's no way to exactly tell how much power the CPU is using and the GPU reading isn't accurate, especially with AMD GPUs, as you can see right here, it basically says 86 watts, which we know isn't the case. So let me go ahead and get the actual wall reading right now. I've got it plugged in to a meter, power meter, so we can read the power and the wattage. We're using about 267 to 268 watts, give or take. Oh, it goes up to about 270. So that's actually not that bad. Uh, and let's go ahead and plug this in to the profitability calculator. Now to see if this thing is profitable, which you've all been waiting for. So here's the hash rate. It's in giga hash and not mega hash, so it's only 0.54. And you can see that we're making a dot one dollar twelve cents per day at the current hash rate and the current warp price. And you can see how much it costs to run the rig on the calculator app. It cost me 80 cents a day to run it. So I am currently making 32 cents per day for this rig anyway. Now that's not bad. Uh, it's more profitable than the BC250s considering how much power they use. So the efficiency is not even on the same level. It just gives you an idea on how inefficient those BC250s are, which is actually why they are getting shut off. And you can see that I basically took an unprofitable AMD GPU. If you look right here, you'll see the 6800 XT loses one cent on Chlor and a 3900X only makes four cents on Zephyr. So basically taking two unprofitable, prod unprofitable items right now, combining them, and you make them profitable, which is pretty sweet. And I think that's where Warthog is going to have its staying power because these BC250s are going to get driven off the network pretty fast unless you have a ridiculously low power rate. And due to the way Warthog is set up where you basically need a CPU and a GPU like so, I don't really see how people can scale this. Now, do, do I think it's worth putting my other... GPUs and CPUs on Warthog, you know, I'm going to probably start to slowly move some AM4 rigs over. I think if I could set up my farm in a way that would make it really, really easy to like basically pop the GPUs off when Warthog isn't profitable and then put them back on, I will definitely do that. And I think I need to figure out which GPUs I want to use. Like, I think I'll burn through all of my A, like my 6800 XT, my 6800, maybe my 6900. And then I'll see what other GPUs are most profitable. Maybe I'll actually do a video where I figure out the best GPU to use with the 3900X. That might be a fun one. And you can also take a look at people who have uploaded their results on the Warthog Discord too. Uh, again, I'll put another link to that, so that'll really help. So overall, this was a great video. Uh, I had a lot of fun filming this. Thank you so much to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video. Make sure you use their pool as they pay out pretty fast as well, and they're a very reliable pool. And I've said that way before they sponsored me, and I will say that long after I stop working with them. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I definitely think you're going to see some more Warthog content as this is one of the few things that's profitable right now. So I think it's, I think I want to take advantage of it. Thanks again. See you on the next one.